the cycloidal drive, how does it work and what's the components inside. I designed this to be fully 3D printed. This is printed in ABS on my Anycubic Viper. It has these two gears that look like gears but there's like a wave and they are 180 degrees separated from one from another. There is this small pin registration that you use when it's uh, assembled. They go like this when it's like one millimeter uh, up. And this is the part that goes on the axle. It's a double eccentric shaft and this is what's moving the gears up and down. I designed it around these bearings. These are like computer fan bearings. Really easy to find and they're not so expensive. And this other one is like uh, used in bicycles something like that it's like two dollars let's say three euros or something this it's not expensive at all uh, this part goes fixed to the motor it's like a wave but it has one tooth more than the gears and that's the the housing that holds uh, uh, this uh, gear together. This is the driven part. It's like an axle with uh, like a hexagonal. Uh, I don't know, it's 15 millimeter or something like that. And three inserts for the small bearings to be fitted. Let's try and assemble this. So these uh, two gears are uh, distinct from one another and one goes down and then you insert this eccentric shaft with the part up and then the other gear goes such a way that, uh, that you can insert a pin in the... You have to assemble these gears uh, in the right way uh, else you cannot uh, assemble it there's uh, the pin registration that you can see that it's aligned and then you can uh, insert in the in the housing this should fit really well it's really tight fit so if your printer doesn't uh, do well like concentric shafts and everything should be parallel it should uh, spin really freely but not too much if it's like uh, wobbling around that will increase the backlash of the drive this is the center part let's put these bearings right there go or why are there six bearings and not three? Because it's a, a dual gear and the gears are spinning opposite to one another. So there has to be like two, like no, six bearings for each uh, gear, like this. Mm, and then the other bearing which holds this to the case everything just fits and should spin freely now inserting this if the gears are in the right order and the position this should be inserted parallel like this and it clicks in place there's a minimal backlash So now the outer housing it's made in such a way when you clamp it together doesn't really move 
on the Z axis, let's say that it has a little bit of backlash and then it just holds down with uh, four Allen screws into the housing of the motor. It's about printing this, uh, it took like, uh, I don't know, six or seven hours to print. Because it's printed in ABS, you have to go slow if you want to go to have the precision you need for this. Let's insert uh, something here in the center and this should spin really free. And not only that, it should be, uh, shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't get any resistance or feel that some places uh, get stuck. That's maybe uh, due to your printer not uh, doing everything in a circle or maybe your belts are not tight enough. Uh, now you see what's going on inside. When I spin this, the two gears are, are just like hopping around and, and spinning, but also at the same time, there's like a wave forming up and down, up and down. And the round part, it's what drives the bearings and then the pins force the axle to spin. The now you can see from the front. The other gear from be behind doesn't, you don't really see that, but it does the same thing, but in, in mirror. Is the spin really well and doesn't really need lubrication or something but let's say just a little bit oil does a, does better and doesn't really uh, have any friction and you if you hold the outer shaft and spin the center now you can see the housing is is just like a clock the housing is spinning if you hold the housing and then spin the center spins it's really small uh, uh, gear Re uh, no, the, the gear reduction is uh, 18 to 1 so you have to spin 18 times the motor to get one revolution of the outer uh, axle so i designed this uh, this wheel that uh, just connects con is connected to the shaft so i can put some weights and see how how long does it take to to destroy this uh, this gearbox it does have uh, a 3d printed uh, fitting for screws already uh, a tap maybe let's say a tap there's, uh, there's not more uh, a lot of slack or backlash but this can be mitigated in software spinning this you can see now if you spin and the wheel spins in the other direct direction doesn't uh, really work if uh, it's not well printed. Let's talk about this. Uh, it looks very nice. Doesn't make any noise. Uh, I think it's a really good design. I don't remember what version this is. Like two point something. I just work like um, two weeks to make this. And I think it, it's like a final product. But what you don't see is it's this. It's a, a lot of work to do this. And it's more work to make a video. 
and this is uh, like Lego parts, but this is really junk. It's going to be in the trash or to the recycle bin. I don't know. A lot of casings and then a lot of back and forth to the computer and then printing and then you see no this it's just 0 0.1 millimeters too low or too high or something breaks when you insert it like this really small part I had to redesign this is the center and if you put pressure on it uh, they break so there's a lot of problems printing in ABS it's not sticking to the bed or there is a lot of deformation is or cracking it doesn't really work if you have an open 3d printer it's like this there was a line there so if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to help me develop a, like a channel for if you like robotics and if you like 3d printing and stuff just push push that button down there it says subscribe youtube doesn't really push any new youtubers it's not youtube